this is this is Dobrum yellow. Fantastic colour. It's it's a faro and ball colour. And but what what I got to thinking was that these paint stirring sticks, they are the ultimate ultimate in upcycling. I mean you you've got Dobrum yellow, which is faro and ball colour. I mean that that's got to be great. You've got this emerald green, which which I use, which wasn't brilliant. I, I don't know, I, I don't want to name what brand of paint that was. Um, but you can upcycle them. I mean, surely there must be a market for this somewhere. I mean, everything's upcycled now, isn't it? You, so, I mean, you could have like little spoon, big spoon, mummy spoon, daddy spoon. It, it's like, and the more paint on, the better. And you know, you, you can get your, over your things and spread it around. Maybe sand it down a bit, put a little bit of chalk on it, and then of course then then you can sell the maintenance packages to go with the upcycled paint stirrer sticks. And then you can sell the, the waxes, or you, or you could actually just get like a, like a, a maybe a lacquer. You can, you can have like upcyclepaintstirrerstick.com lacquer, upstirrerpaintstirrerstick.com, what? Well, what would it be, wax? It's great, and then, then of course you've got the, the upcycled brushes, you know, which, I mean, I, I don't think you could you dust your, your, your pastry and shortage with it, you know, I mean, do your croissants, but I'm sure there must be a use for, use for it somewhere. And then, and then, of course, the ultimate would be the upcycled paint kettle, paint bucket, paint, what would you call this? I don't know what, what it would be. Um, and, and, you know, what, what could you do? What could you do with that? I suppose you could carefully drill some holes in the bottom of it and then you, you could use it as for, for growing things and you'd have all, all that all that colour and you, you've got to make sure that they're water based non voluble paints because you know it's, but I only use water I, I tend to use water based paints anyhow but yeah you, you have the yellow the green and, and you can you can have this and you can have like three or four of them in, in Hoxton Shoreditch and other areas can apply yeah it'd be great I, I, I think I think somebody's missing a trick not, not doing this not, not upcycling these these, these painting things of course Shall I run an auction for my upcycled overalls or my, my bib and brace? I mean, that, that must be great. I mean, they, these, would, these would look good on, good on somebody. Might be a bit big on somebody, you know, depending on who it was. But, you know, these, they, these are it. I mean, just, just hang these on, on over, the, over the line and, and, and that's it. You've arrived with your, your upcycled, recycled clothing. I mean, this has got paint, plaster, all kinds of great stuff all over it. Brilliant. I mean, I will upcycle. When you when you get sick when you get sick of it, you can take take it down the, down the charity shop, and that'll be it. No, no, seriously, this is it's the way forward. Upcycled painting materials. Surely somebody should do it. If nobody else does it, I think I'm going to do that.